Hi everyone, Laura from Nanny Parent Connection here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to write an amazing nanny resume. I go through resumes all week long when I interview nannies for nanny positions and sometimes people connect with me about a position and I say, that's great, I would love to interview you, please send your resume. I'm always really surprised at how many people don't have resumes and I think it's a really important way to convey professionalism in the industry. Some nannies share with me that they don't have a resume because they don't need one. That may be true because I know a lot of nannies get their next positions through referrals from their family to like another friend or neighbors for example. However, having a resume is a really important way to convey yourself professionally. When somebody has their resume ready to go when I ask for it, it tells me that they're organized and they are serious about their job search. Do make sure to update your resume routinely. This could be a habit you get into each time you take a new nanny role. You can just write start date until present and that leaves your resume open and ready to go for your next position. A resume that needs updating tells me that you're not quite as prepared for an interview as you could have been. Do make your resume look nice and professional. Search online for ideas on resume writing or templates. I'm going to show you a great template that I really, really love from ResumeGenius.com. We're going to go over here to my computer and check out this nanny resume sample. So what I really like about this resume is that it's just very clean cut. It has different sections that tell me exactly where I'm going to find the relevant information. So it has a lovely header. It has your contact information up on the upper left here. It has a nice summary of the professional profile. So you can highlight how many years of experience you have. You can highlight some of your skill sets. You might not initially think that would be really relevant to nanny care, but absolutely any music skills you have, any organizational or time management skills, multitasking, the ability to you know work well under pressure, reliability, that's a huge one for a lot of parents. So make sure you list those really relevant skills and I'll tell you that a lot of parents tend to seek out these skills such as musical abilities or language skills when they are searching for nannies and while these aren't required often, they are the icing on the cake so it's a really good way to set yourself apart from the past. List your experience, of course. You want to list your most relevant experience. So this person has listed the most recent two positions. And then there's also a section on the left here toward the bottom, listing education and credentials. So this person has a music degree, they have some nanny certifications and awards, um, they have their driver's license. One thing that's really important that is not listed on here that I always look for is CPR first aid certification. That's something I think is really, really nice to have in any nanny situation. Just because you're working around kids, it's nice to know that somebody is trained in the event that there's an emergency, they will know what to do. So that's the one thing that I didn't see on here that I would recommend having. So make sure that you have a professional looking resume, check out the different templates. There are a ton online. And again, this resume example that I really like is on ResumeGenius.com. Make sure you spell check and proofread your resume. I can't tell you how many times there are punctuation marks missing, there are um, capital letters that are missing. Whenever you're writing a resume, make sure you're not writing in all lowercase, for example. Grammar errors are really important. And sometimes we don't catch these things that we write ourselves. So it's really helpful to just ask a friend or a family member, hey, you know, can you peek at this and just make sure that I didn't make any errors or, or you know, maybe give me some feedback if there's anything that you would recommend changing. So that's a really important piece. Some grammar errors, they're really, really common and I'm always really impressed by somebody who just has a resume that's well put together, no spelling or grammar errors. On a nanny resume, don't leave out the babysitting experience. If you've been a professional nanny for several years, you probably don't need to include this, but if you're newer and you have more recent experience, make sure that you kind of summarize your babysitting experience. Don't list every role um, unless it was a more permanent position, but you could just say, you know, I babysat between 2018 to 2020. Make sure you list the ages of children, the number of children you cared for. You can word that I've cared for up to three children at a time. And make sure to list out some of the job duties. So some great relevant skill sets are safely driving children to and from activities, meal prep for children, etc. Don't leave out any relevant skill sets. These could be things like languages, these could be musical abilities, artistic skills, anything like that. Parents really, really love to see a really well rounded candidate with some skill sets and hobbies and things that can be incorporated into the nanny role. For example, if you're a master Lego builder, say that. If you are an incredible sensory bin extraordinaire, say that. Have fun with it. That's another really great way to set yourself apart from the pack. 
have fun with it, list those skills that are really transferable into nanny care. Do consider adding your interest or hobby to your resume. They can be a really great way to provide some insight as to who you are as a person so that you're a little bit more, again, personable instead of just information on a piece of paper. Make sure to include any special licensures, certifications. This could even be your driver's license, any education, any special training you've done, such as if you're a newborn care specialist, anything like that will really make your resume pop. Do make sure to include your contact information and make sure that email address is correct. I have seen resumes with incorrect or old phone numbers or email addresses, so just breeze through everything and make sure that things are accurate and up to date. If you have a resume, for example, that has your email address from you know when you created it back when you were 13, misssassypants at gmail.com, time to upgrade that <laughs> to Sasha Ann Jones, for example, at gmail.com. So consider switching up your email address, make sure it's correct, it's accurate, and make sure it has a professional tone to you. Do translate your skill sets. If you're transitioning from a different role into nannying or your experience is on the light side, make sure that you talk about your organizational skills, your reliability, any volunteer work, things of that sort. Anything like that where you've been around children, camp counselor, lifeguard, all of those things have really, really transferable skill sets. So talk that up. Make sure you include those if your resume is a little bit on the light side with actual nannying experience. I can't tell you how many resumes I see each week where somebody has applied for a childcare role, yet there is literally no childcare experience listed on the resume. So make sure you help me connect the dots. If you have childcare experience, great. Either have it on your resume or have a really stellar cover letter that helps me to connect the dots and see why you would be great for the role. Now speaking of cover letters, do make sure you include a cover letter. It's an amazing way to help personalize your resume for the role without actually having to personalize your resume. It can be really concise. It can just be a few lines. Thank you for taking the time to read my resume. I think I would be great for this role because I would love to discuss this position with you further. Thank you for your time. Something really succinct is great, but it's a fantastic way to just show that you take an extra step. You're gonna go the extra mile and you're really serious about your job search. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to how to make an amazing nanny resume. I hope these tips were helpful. These are things that I see and deal with each week, so they are absolutely out there. And uh, I hope that you find this information helpful. Please click the like button, subscribe, or ring the bell to make sure you're notified when more of these types of videos come out. And I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.